That was Peter Oliver reporting. A young ISIS recruit who recently surrendered to Kurdish fighters in Iraq is actually from Alexandria, Virginia, just miles from our nation's capital. 26-year-old Mohammed Quis says he made a bad decision to follow a woman to Iraq and join ISIS and surrendered to Kurdish fighters after realizing he did not agree with the terrorist group's ideology. His family still lives in Alexandria. RT's Anya Parampil went to the neighborhood to speak with them. I'm in Alexandria, Virginia, where we've just attempted to speak with the family of Mohammed Quais, the American ISIS defector captured by Kurdish Peshmerga fighters in Iraq earlier this week. Mohammed's family has told media that they were surprised to learn his identity, that he didn't even speak Arabic. So I came here trying to see if they wanted to give their side of the story. Nobody answered the door. In a video posted online, Quais is confronted by Peshmerga forces and is questioned in English by a commander. Where are you from? Where are you from? United States. Mm -hmm. You're not Palestinian? Yeah. You're mad? American. American. No, Iraq. Seen on Kurdish television, Quais says he traveled to Iraq after meeting a woman in Turkey who promised to assist him in making it to Mosul. He said out of the 70 people he was eventually housed with while working with ISIS, he was the only American, and that after a month, he decided to leave, surrendering to the Kurdish Peshmerga. Quais talked about his ordeal on a Kurdish television station and why he decided to leave. I didn't complete the whole uh, Sharia. I didn't agree with uh, their ide ideology. And um, that's when I wanted to escape. Quais went on to say that he wasn't thinking straight when he decided to travel to Syria. It's unclear if Quais will be returned to the United States. According to a bipartisan congressional report, 250 Americans have attempted to join the self-proclaimed Islamic State in Iraq or Syria since 2011. Mohammed is just one of them. However, like I said, his father has told media he was a good boy, and Mohammed himself said he immediately regretted traveling to join the group. He is currently being held by Kurdish fighters for interrogation. In Alexandria, Virginia, this is Anya Parampil, RT.